Hi, I'm Gary Gold and welcome to Voodoo Agent. Now today I want to talk about positioning yourself for a really successful business. Now we all work for the most part for a broker and we have clients who hire us, but the truth be told is we really are these little businesses and we work for ourselves. And if we don't have a strategy to create this pipeline of consistent business, we just end up with the table scraps from brokers who do have a pipeline of successful business. Now I've been in this business for 30 years and I've had some of the best strategies and have been really successful and I've had some of the lamest strategies that have kicked my royal ass. Uh, I remember I went all in on developments and I was selling homes in Fiji and Hawaii and Las Vegas and I thought it was the grooviest thing in the world and it all fell apart and I remember having this revelation, why am I trying to sell homes in places that are really hard to sell when my office is in Beverly Hills, one of the easiest places in the world to sell homes. They're very, very marketable, very, very desirable. This was a bad strategy. I got caught up in like this sex appeal. So what I want to talk about is having a plan. So many people in real estate are completely rudderless. They get some idea like, I just want to sell mid-century architectural homes. Well, the area you live in, like the houses were built in the 80s, what are you even talking about? I want you to ask yourself three questions. Number one, what is your business you want? It, it all starts with an idea. So that's fine, whatever it may be, identify the idea. Number two, you have to do some research. Is this idea plausible? If you're not going after something where there's a lot of conversions and a lot of sales and the business isn't there, no matter how good you think you could be at it, you're not going to succeed. And number three, figure out why you want to do this. Um, my strategy that I've had for a long time is I wanted to sell high-end luxury homes. And the reason why I wanted to do this is I'd rather sell 15, 20 houses a year and really focus on those deals. I call it big game hunting. Then, you know, there's some places you have to sell 100, 150 homes a year. That sounded like a nightmare to me. I didn't like the logistics, it didn't suit my personality. I'd much rather do what I'm doing. Now, now there are people that sell a thousand houses a year and they've got, they're really organized, they've got that strategy, they've got that ball, they've got that mindset to do that and that's great. So I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you to A, come up with an idea. If not, you're just gonna get the table scraps of people who do have ideas. B, Research it, see if it's viable. Because when you go in on this, you're gonna go all in, and if it's not viable and you find out two years later, that's a disaster. And C, determine why you wanna do this. I mean, right, I happen to live in Venice Marina del Rey, and I've thought in the back of my head, wouldn't it be great where I could sell homes all within like bike riding distance from my house? That would be awesome. Now that's a good strategy, it makes sense. Now I should follow up that. I'm not doing that, I'm selling these big houses. But if I was to do that and that was my focus, I'd say, okay, what's the total market there? How many sales are there? Who are the agents that are selling there? Is there any opportunities? Is there any room for another person to do this? And if there is, how are you going to get attention? How are you going to break into that market? So you guys need to think this way. And it doesn't matter if you're in the business for an hour or 20 years. My 30 plus year career, I've had to reinvent myself multiple times. And I found myself in a position where I really was not in a good place and I had to try something new. Um, I've been very successful at this, but if you don't position yourself for success, you are just gonna get the table scraps for people who are successful. Thanks for tuning in. I'd love to hear comments below and for you to subscribe to my channel. Take care.